Hey everyone, today we're looking at five low cost lenses for the Nikon Z system. So if you own a Nikon Z camera, you'll know that there are some really great lenses available, particularly the Nikon S-Line lenses, but you'll also know that they're really expensive as well. So today we're looking at five low cost options, which hopefully won't break the bank, but will still offer some decent performance and quality. I've come out today to Stanage Edge and I'm going to head up in a moment and get some shots. I'm not going to talk about these lenses in really deep detail because I've done that in other videos. And as I go along, I'll put a link up top to each one of those videos if you want to go back and look in more detail. So I'll head up now, we'll get the shots and we'll talk about those lenses. I'll see you up there. Okay, so the first lens we're going to look at is the Nikkor Z 40mm f2 lens. This is not an S-line lens, even though it's made by Nikon, and that's why it's a little bit cheaper. You can pick it up for around about £200 here in the UK. But the quality is still surprisingly good, it handles really well, it focuses quickly, it's really small, it's super light, and the only drawback for me really is that it's a 40mm focal length, which is a little bit odd, it's somewhere in between 50mm and 35 so you might not know what to do with it, but I get good results with landscapes and also street photography with this. So check it out and you might get some good results as well. So if you prefer a more traditional focal length that's around about 50 millimeters, you might prefer the TT Artisan 50 millimeter. This is the cheapest lens that we're gonna look at today, coming in at around about 80 pounds, and you do get some compromises with that. It's a manual focus only lens, and it's a non-CPU lens, so it won't communicate with the camera, and you're gonna to have to tell the camera what the focal length is and the maximum aperture in order to gain the benefits of the vibration reduction. Having said all that, it is really well made, it's really really small, it's about the smallest lens I've seen for the Z system, and it's quite light. You do get some average to decent image quality with it, but you are going to suffer from things like flaring because you don't have any fancy coatings or elements inside here. But for a cheap, really small, really light lens, you can't really go far wrong. It's definitely worth trying out for the price alone. So moving on to something a little wider now, we've got the 28mm 2.8 Nikkor Z lens. Again, made by Nikon but not an S-line lens, and you can get this for around about £230 here in the UK. Performs much like the 40mm, it's very quick and snappy, it's very small, lightweight, it's pretty much all plastic, and you get some fairly decent results out of it considering the price. The main drawback, like the 40mm, is that it's a slightly odd focal length for some people. I don't mind it if I want to do some street photography where I get a little bit closer to the people. 
I think 28 mm is a pretty good focal length for that. And you can also use it for landscapes as well. So we're going ultra wide now with the 7 Artisans 10mm f2.8 fisheye lens. I don't personally think there are many good budget options that are wide angle for full frame Z cameras. So a fisheye like this is about the best option you can get I think. Obviously it's fisheye so it's very extreme but you can get some decent landscape images with this and it's only about £250. It's very heavy because it's all metal and it's manual focus only but on the plus side it is pretty decent image quality and you've got a pretty fast maximum aperture at f2.8. So if you're looking for a budget wide angle lens, then this could be the option for you. Okay, so moving to the opposite end of the focal length scale, we've got the Tokina 400mm f8 reflex lens. I reviewed this recently in another video, so if you want to go back and find out what reflex lenses are, you can click on this link up top. But all you need to know right now is that reflex lenses use mirrors inside, and that means that they can have massive reach but still be really small and light, like this one is. The downsides are that it's manual focus only, it's fixed f8 aperture, and the image quality is only average. You can get some good results on bright days, but if you've got any atmospheric haze, you're gonna suffer. And also it does suffer from flare and glare and things like that. But considering this is only 240 pounds here in the UK, you're not gonna find a regular 400 millimeter lens for anything like that kind of price. So it's definitely worth checking out. So they're my top five budget picks for the Nikon Z lens system. That's at the time of recording. There may be others that pop up in the future, or there may be some right now that I'm not aware of. And if you've got your favorites, then maybe just put them down in the comments below and then we can all learn from that. That's about it for this video. So massive thank you for watching. If you found this video useful in any way, then please just give me a thumbs up down below. That really helps out with the channel and gets the video shared more widely so that more people can see it. If you tune in and watch every week, massive thanks for that, I really do appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed and you'd like to do so, then please just click on the red button down below and that way you'll stay up to date with everything I'm doing each and every week. There's a new video every Sunday morning at 10am UK time. 
So I hope you'll join me next week for the next one. But until then, thanks a lot everyone and bye for now.